First, I want to express my great gratitude to everyone that has made this program possible. Thank you so much to Career Development and to the Rose Tucker Charitable Trust Internship Program for funding my internship this summer. And thank you to my cohort. I learned so much from you all. And lastly, thank you to Ruth Ellen Hogue, my, uh, my mentor and supervisor, for providing invaluable guidance and encouragement day to day. I think that you'll see from my images while I'm speaking that I had a rich and colorful experience this summer. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Camille Lubach, and I'm from Santa Barbara, California. My majors at Linfield University are studio art and Spanish, but my interests extend to biking, eating, uh, yoga, cats, and gardening, of course. Um, but it's interesting because like all of you, I was more sheltered than ever before this summer because of the pandemic, but at the same time, I was extending as an artist, um, expanding as an artist, uh, working in a socially distanced but very vibrant community known as the Funk Zone. And here it is. Let me make myself small. Ooh, okay. So, the Funk Zone. This internship experience has allowed me for the first time to take what I've been learning, for instance, um, language and culture, curatorial skills, professional communication, and test it out in the working world. And look how lovely it is. As a gallery intern, I acted as assistant for artist and gallery manager Ruth Ellen Hogue, and here she is looking lovely in front of her mural. This entailed preparing the space for bi-weekly exhibitions, producing a short film, promoting art collection, and communicating with other business owners in this colorful art neighborhood. I found that my status as an intern and a Linfield University student um, was like a magic key that made people eager to share their expertise with me from creating lovely sculptures to their oriental rug collections. Um, I'm most proud of that I developed professional relationships with successful artists, collectors, and members of the art world, and I'm almost certain that these people will be a part of my life for a long, long time. I feel like I've arrived back at Linfield with a new database of experiences. Uh, first, I have not one answer, but multiple answers to the questions that I get asked frequently, which is... How can you make money with art? How can you lead a good life? But not everyone, um, but my supervisor, my the gallery residents next door, the artists I interviewed were people who are doing great things through art and are greatly, greatly satisfied. This knowledge empowers me to pursue a job with optimism and tenacity. Uh, whether it's as a curator, as a gallery owner, or a studio artist, and to contribute to the art field. In getting my hands dirty, hanging artworks and painting pedestals, here's one of my art pieces, I've become more curious about other avenues of exploration, such as 2D design and art history, both of which I'll study here at Linfield with greater enthusiasm and respect than had I not caught a glimpse during my internship. I learned from my cohort seminars the power of reflecting and processing an experience, including the many, many mistakes. And um, a lot happened in a short amount of time, and I'm just starting to figure out everything I've learned. So continuing to share my experience with my professors and peers has helped me to make sense of all that's happened and to feel immense gratitude for all it has given me. Thank you very much.